Hi, I'm Jason Mears, and this is vCenter Server Create a VM from a Template, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So I'm going to go to the template that I created in a previous video. This was a Linux VM template, and I could right-click on this template and select New VM from this template. That's one way of doing it. However, I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to go back to hosts and clusters and I'm going to pick a host and pick an option here which is new virtual machine. This gives me a couple of different options, one of which is deploy from a template. So a few different ways of doing this. I'm just going to demonstrate this one. I can pick a template from a content library or from a data center. We cover content libraries uh, in other videos in this series, but I'm just going to pick one that I've got in my uh, Linux templates folder. Again, one that I created in a previous video. So we're going to have to give this virtual machine a name. So we'll call it VM from template, just so it's oh, Linux VM from template, just so it's easy to spot which one this, this is. I'm going to put it on host 11 and I'm going to pick a local data store. I'll pick um, 256 general, just a general data store, not dedicated to anything. Sometimes I dedicate data stores for things like vCenter server or NSX managers. I'm going to select that I'm going to customize the operating system because that's how I use a specification file. I'm not going to change the hardware and I am going to power on the virtual machine as soon as it's been created. So it's the top box that allows me to use a customization specification which I've created in a previous video. It only shows me customization specs that are suitable for Linux so I'm going to pick the spec Linux which I created uh, in a previous video. I can also override some settings if I want to but I'm just going to uh, use the ones that I put in there. In that specification I asked it to prompt me for a computer name so that's why I'm being asked now to supply one. I'll call it Linux VM from template. Click next and just have a quick look at the summary of that. And then as soon as I click finish, it will start the creation and deployment of that VM from a template. So I'm going to use a template, but I'm also going to use a customization specification to modify or change anything that I might need to. So we're back here. We just skip the time forward a little bit so we can see the um, see it as it finishes. And there we have a, a Linux VM which is just about to boot. So one of the things um, that I've got here is um, I'm I've just picked the remote console, the VMware remote console session. I usually in previous videos have been using the web client, but we'll use the um, VMRC. This is a uh, an executable that you download and install, and you have the option of using the um, web-based one or the application or executable-based one. So I just thought I'd, I'd flip it a little bit this time. So I'm now logged on to that Linux server, and if I look at the host name, I can see what the host name is. And if I have a look at ifconfig, um, I don't appear to have a, a network. So what I'm going to do, um, and the other part is I don't have IF configured the tool to see it. So I'm going to try and install that now. I'm going to use sudo apt get install net tools because that's the package that IF config is in. But it tells me that it can't reach the update service. So that really does suggest that the network isn't working. So I'm going to modify some settings through the VMIC console. I'm going to go to network. And as you can see there, it's not connected and not connected at power on. So the problem was I did configured the network card, but I hadn't actually connected it. So now that that network card is connected, hopefully I can get to the internet to download that package. And now I have that package. Hopefully I can run the IF config tool to see the IP address of my network card. So it's hidden in there in all that other stuff. So I'm going to run IF config again, and I'm going to use grep to filter it for lines that have the word INET in them. And you can see there, I can see a list of all the different kinds of IP version four, version six, and loopback addresses on this virtual machine. So that was how to clone, um, create a VM from a clone's template, part of the vSphere 7 Home Lab series. So thank you very much for your time, and I hope you found that useful.